Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Dharade. In this video, we are going to discussing about how to integrate JFrog in Maven. Let's see the demo. Why do we integrate uh, JFrog in Maven? If you want to store artifacts in Nexus, sorry, JFrog, we have to configure JFrog in inside the Maven palm.xml to store our J, jar var er file. Okay. First free requests, we have to install Java and also install Maven and also we have created a particular web application. Last video, last class we have created right web application in Maven session. Okay, I'm using this web application to store artifacts in JFrog. Next one is we, you have to install the JFrog artifact. I already installed JFrog as well, allowing with admin user. Okay, first what I'm doing here, I'm using MVN deploy. Okay, I'm using MVN deploy. If you use the MVN deploy, what will happen? Let's see. It will use deploy plugin. And if you observe here, it is failing. The reason is inside the it is we haven't specified the we haven't specified inside the palm.xml that particular distribution management. It means we haven't configured any either artifact JFrog or Nexus configuration details. We haven't configured inside the distribution management. Okay, so if you see here. We have to configure inside the palm.xml distribution management. As I said, like we have a two things snapshot and release. Release is nothing but repository tag. Okay. Inside the snapshot, we have to declare the ID. This ID will be used for to authenticate JFrog credentials. Okay. We will be declared inside the setting.xml also that particular JFrog credentials we require to maintain that ID. Okay. ID is unique ID. I'm example I'm giving here JFrog icon snapshot and here URL. What is the URL? We have to declare the snapshot URL. Where we can get that snapshot URL? Log into this particular using admin. You can use uh, you can log in any user. I logged in with admin and go to settings. No, not here. Go to here and go to the artifacts. I have created two artifacts. One is Moodly releases and Moodly snapshots. Okay, click this one. Now you can get this particular URL. You can copy this and come here and paste here. Okay, snapshot. And also in the repository, this is the release repository. I given the ID is JFrog icon releases and the URL. The URL also we have to keep it that particular releases. Okay. I have created Moodle icon releases. Copy this, paste here. Okay. We have to configure this inside form.xml. I'm copying this. Come here and open the form.xml. Web application means it will be generate war file. Okay. And come down, you can declare anywhere inside project tag or okay, the project element. And I'm keeping down and right click, you can paste. Okay, fine. I have declared that JFrog configuration details. Now I'm entering here. Okay, I'm using now MVN deploy. Earlier it was throwing error like inside the palm.xml, we haven't declared any inside the distribution management, we haven't declared any JFrog related stuff. Okay, now if you see here, now we are getting the 401 authentic authorization error. The reason is, the reason is, can you please tell me what is the reason? The reason is we haven't configured JFrog authentication details. Just we have declared the snapshot and release inside the palm.xml, but we haven't declared, right? Where we can declare that uh, authentication details? We have to declare inside the settings.xml. Where the settings.xml is available? We have to declare inside the setting.xml in the same Maven server. We have a OPT inside the OPT Maven inside the config directory. We have to declare that setting that inside the setting.xml. We have to declare that JFrog authentication details. If you remember, we did same for Nexus, same process only for JFrog also. Okay. And come here. Here, this is uh JFrog. What is the username password here? Here server, I'm giving the ID JFrog snapshots and username is I'm giving here admin. What is the username? I'm using admin user and password is JFrog at rate 25800. Okay, same thing for release also, same username and uh, authentication details. Okay, admin. Remember, here I'm using admin credentials, but in real time, we won't use admin credentials. We'll be create a service account. What is the uses of service account? See, for example, I use admin credentials or I use my credentials. 
in case i left from that particular organization what will happen my credentials my mail id everything will be blocked right if it is a block what will happen it will be break you right it will get the authentication error so instead of that one what will happen what we will do we will create the service account it will be used for specific purpose only okay that is just copy this one and come here uh, go to now i am in opt maven config now here if you see here setting.xml is there open the setting.xml insert mode now here we have a server tag inside the server tag you can declare anywhere the server details okay if you observe here this is the snapshot details this is the this is the snapshot details and this is repository details okay and save it this now come to root directory we have a web application go to the web application okay now we can use the mvn deploy mvn deploy click this one now currently see if i click this uh, snapshot one and click this one it will be redirected to the particular url okay now we can see currently if you observe here it is uploaded com if you here also if you see here it is uploaded to this particular url murli snapshot com tech URL with murli web application one by one i'm going to showcase in gui also okay com tech URL with murli what is the artifact in a web application and what the first uh, snapshot name is 1.0 snapshot right? and inside it is uploaded the war file and also form file and also metadata same process only what we did in uh, uh, Nexus, same process only we are following in JFrog also. Okay. And again, I'm doing, uh, again, I'm uh, doing the MVN deploy. Let's see. Now, currently it, it is coming iPhone 1, right? If we are running second time, right? It will come iPhone 2. Just refresh this one. Let's see. So if you observe here, iPhone 2, the reason is we build two times, right? That is the reason it is coming. iPhone 2, iPhone 2, iPhone 2, it will become like that. Okay. I hope you understand that how we can reach to, uh, store, uh, I mean, store that particular artifacts in Nexus through Mavin. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.